in the last lecture we learned about destructuring syntax and we learned how we can destructure an array now we also learned that we can apply destructuring syntax on objects also so in this lecture we are going to learn about object destructuring before that let's recap what we learned about destructuring syntax so we learned that destructuring syntax allows us to unpack arrays or objects into a bunch of variables and it was introduced in ES6 version of JavaScript. We have already seen how we can destructure an array. Let's learn how we can destructure an object and where can we use the destructuring syntax on an object. So let's say I have an employee object where I have the name property, age property and gender property. And let's say I have a requirement where I want to create some variables and to those variables I want to assign the name of the employee, the age of the employee and gender of the employee. Now without destructuring syntax what we will have to do is we will create variables like this and we will access the property from that object and in this way we will have the value of that property and we can assign the value of that property to a variable. So here to assign the property values of this employee object to a variable we are creating a variable we are accessing the property value using the dot notation and then we are assigning it to that variable so here we are creating three variables name age and gender and we are assigning these variables with the property value of name age and gender from the employee object now instead of doing it like this we can use object destructuring syntax in object destructuring syntax what we do is First, we use let or const keyword to create variables. You can use let keyword if you're going to change the value of the variable in the future. But if you're not going to change the value of the variable, you can use const keyword. And in the curly braces, we specify the variable names. Remember, for array destructuring, we use square brackets. But for object destructuring, we use curly braces. And another very important point which you need to remember is for object destructuring, when you create variables, the variable name must match the property name whose value you want to assign to that variable. So for example, here when I'm specifying the variable name as name, this name will be assigned with the name property of employee object. When I'm creating this variable age, this age will be assigned with the value of age property of the employee object. And in the same way, when I'm specifying the variable name as gender, the value of the gender property of this employee object will be assigned to this gender variable. So in case of array, the element position is used to assign it to a variable. But in case of object destructuring, the property names are used to assign its value to a variable. The variable name must be same as the property name whose value we want to assign to the variable. Let's see this with a practical example. So here I have an employee object with these five properties. Now let's say what I want is I want to create three variables and to those variables I want to assign the value of the name property, the value of the age property and the value of the gender property. And for that I'm going to use object destructuring syntax. So here I'm going to create a variable and for creating a variable we use either let or const keyword. Here I'm using const keyword. Then since here we want to destructure an object, for object destructuring we use curly braces. For array destructuring we use square brackets. And here we need to specify the variable names. Now remember that the variable names which we are going to create must match a property name. So here I want to create a name variable, an age variable and a gender variable. And to this, I'm going to assign the employee object. And that's it. Now what will happen is the name property of this employee object, its value will be read and that value will be assigned to this name property. Then the value of age property of the employee object will be assigned to this age variable and the value of the gender property of employee object will be assigned to this gender variable. So if I go ahead and if I log these variables in the console, and if I save the changes, you will see that for the name variable, 
john is logged for the age variable 28 is logged and for the gender variable male is logged now we have learned that in case of array destructuring the position of the element is used to assign it to a variable so the first variable in the array destructuring syntax gets assigned with the first element of the array the second variable in the array destructuring syntax is assigned with the second element of the array but in case of object destructuring that is not the case in case of object destructuring the variable names are used for assignment so this name variable will be assigned with the name property of the employee object this age will be assigned with the age property of the employee object and so on and that's why if we change the position here so before age if i use gender it will not make any difference because here the variable name is being used for assignment if javascript finds a property with the same name as the variable name that variable will be assigned with the value of that property so if i save the changes you will see that we still have the same result here changing the order of the variable in the object destructuring syntax it does not make any difference because here the name of the variable is being used for assigning it with a value it will be assigned with the value of a property from this employee object with the same name i hope this point is clear so we can say that destructuring an array is based on elements position in the array but destructuring of object is based on reference here we are referencing a property of this employee object by the variable name so if the variable name and the property name are same the value of that property will be assigned to that variable now what if you want to use a different name than the property name from the object so for example here instead of name let's say i want to use variable name as first name that is also possible in that case you can use alias and to use an alias what you can do is after the variable name you can use colon and specify an alias for example first name so here we are still referencing the name property of this employee object using this name but now we are calling the variable as first name here this name is used for referencing the name property from the employee object but the variable name is first name so if i save the changes now you will see that for the name it has logged empty string but if i use first name instead of name and if i save the changes you will see that now john is being logged in the same way if you want to use another name for this gender variable you still need to reference the gender property of this employee object using this name using gender but now you can specify a different variable name for example g so in this case if i save the changes now you will see this error gender is not defined because now the variable name is not gender here this gender is being used for referencing the gender property from this employee object for destructuring but now the variable name is g so here i will have to use g as the variable name and now we have the correct output so in this way if you want to use a different variable name you still need to reference the property whose value you want to assign to the variable by specifying the same name as the property name but then you can assign an alias to it and that you can do by using a colon after the reference which you are using and then specifying a name for the variable an alias for the variable and now this alias will be used as the variable you cannot use this name anymore as the variable or this gender anymore as the variable now what will happen if you create a variable with which there is no property in the object which you are trying to destructure for example department so here what i want is i want to look for department property in this employee object and i want to assign the value of that department property to this department variable but if you see in this employee object we do not have any department property so in that case this variable department it will be assigned with the value undefined so if i go ahead and if i try to log department if i save the changes you will see undefined is logged 
So when we have a variable name inside the object destructuring syntax for which a property does not exist in the object which we are destructuring, in that case, that variable will be assigned with the value undefined. And here, just like in array destructuring syntax, if you want, you can also specify a default value if for that variable no value is found. So for example, here there is no property called department in this employee object. In that case, it will be assigned with the value undefined. So instead of assigning it with the value undefined, you can assign a default value to it, for example, IT. And in that case, the default value will be assigned to it. But if the value for this department is present in the employee object, for example, if in this employee object, we have a department property with some value, in that case, that department will be assigned with the value of the department property of the employee object. So if I go ahead and if I add a department property here, and let's say department is HR, in that case, this HR will be assigned to this department variable. And in that case, this default value will not be used. If I save the changes, now you will see that for the department, HR is being logged. All right, so let's say I don't want any department variable or the age variable. I only want this first name variable and I want the gender variable. And here I'm not going to specify any alias for gender variable. So now we don't have any G variable. We have gender variables. So let me log that. We do not have any age variable. So let me comment this console.log statement. And we do not have any department variables. So let me also comment this console.log statement. So here, the first name variable is logging the value of the name property because the value of this name property is assigned to this first name variable and the value of the gender property is assigned to this gender variable. Now, let's say I also want to create a variable, for example, experience. And to that, I want to assign the value of this experience property of this work details property of employee object. So here we have a nested object. Here in this example, we have an employee object where we have this work details property, which is assigned with a nested object. And in that nested object, I have this experience property. And I want to destructure this experience property and I want to assign its value to this experience variable. Currently, if I go ahead and if I save the changes and let me log this experience here, and let me uncomment this console.log statement. If I save the changes, you will see that for the experience, undefined is logged. And the reason is, in this employee object, we do not have any experience property directly. Actually, it is exp. So the property name here is exp. If I save the changes, okay, here also, we need to log exp. If I save the changes, you will see we are still getting undefined. And the reason is, this exp property is not a direct property of this employee object. Instead, it is a property of a nested object. So if we want to assign the value of this experience property to this experience variable, we will have to use a nested object destructuring syntax inside this destructuring syntax. So inside these curly braces, I'll have to wrap this experience within curly braces like this. But still, it will not work. Why? Because here we also need to tell that this experience property is basically a property of this work details. So this work details is another object which is storing this object. So first we will have to reference it using this property of the employee object because this employee has this work details property. So first we need to reference this work details property like this. Okay. And then after the colon, Again, we can use curly braces for destructuring the properties of this work details property, which is storing an object. So here we are saying that from this work details, destructure the value of this experience property and whatever value we have in the experience property of this work details, assign it to this experience variable. And now if I go ahead and if I save the changes, you will see that for this experience variable, five is being logged. So in this way, we can destructure nested object properties. For that, first you need to reference using the property name of the object which you are destructuring. In this case, this work details is the property of the employee object. So first you need to use that property name 
you use colon and then you use a nested object destructuring syntax and inside that you specify the property name which you want to destructure from this work details property okay and in this way the value of the experience property of this work details will be assigned to this experience variable if you want to specify another name instead of calling it exp if you want to use another variable name you still need to reference this property using its name and then you can use colon and specify another variable name which you want to use so for example if you want to use experience as the variable name you can specify that by using the alias okay so for alias we use colon after the variable name basically the property name and then we specify a name for the variable so now we don't have any exp variable now we have experience variable and if i save the changes we should have the same result the only change is instead of using exp as the variable name for storing the value of this exp property of this work details object we are using experience as the variable name so this is how we can destructure a nested object property if you want to also destructure the value of this company property of this work detail inside this same curly braces you can specify a variable name let's say company and i want to use the same variable name as the property name so i'm not going to specify an alias here but now what will happen is the value of this company property of this work details will be assigned to this company variable so let's also go ahead and let's log in the company variable and if i save the changes the value of that company variable is logged here so this is how we can destructure nested objects now let me remove this nested object i don't want to destructure the properties of the nested object and then in the object we can also have a property which stores an array so let's say this area property is storing the city and country of the employee and i want to destructure that as well so here since this area is storing an array to destructure this array inside this object destructuring syntax we will have to use array destructuring syntax and for array destructuring syntax we use a set of square brackets and in there we can specify the variable names so for example i can call the variable as city and country okay and now if we go ahead and if we log city and country and again since we want to destructure a property from the employee object here we will have to first reference it we will have to reference this area property so for that we will use that property name and then we will use colon and then we will specify the variable names for array destructuring so now this first element of this area property will be assigned to the city variable and the second element of the area property will be assigned to this country variable let's go ahead and let's log city and let's also log country if i save the changes you will see that the city is assigned with the first element of this area property and the country is assigned with the second element of the area property so this is object destructuring syntax using object destructuring syntax we can assign the value of an object property to a variable now the array destructuring syntax and object destructuring syntax is a very useful feature and we use a lot in our programming and i'll show you a real use case of array destructuring and object destructuring after this section where we are going to build a very simple web project and there i will show you a simple use case where we should be using array destructuring syntax and object destructuring syntax but in this lecture we learned about the basic concepts of object destructuring so if you have any further question related to object destructuring then feel free to ask it this is all from this lecture i'll see you in the next lecture thank you and have a nice day